You know, another industry feeling the impacts of inflation, construction. On top of finding labor, the cost of materials just continues to rise almost daily. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller explains what's happening here in the Tri-State. Projects like the Digital Futures Building here on MLK, they're safe because they're already set in stone. Inflation wreaks havoc on those future projects that still have deals to be made. Mark Lugering has been working at Messer Construction for 41 years. First job out of high school. Now he's the COO, dealing with inflation unlike anything he's seen in the past. Having it all happen at the same time with the you know availability of labor, um, long lead times on materials, and cost escalation, this would be the first time that I've, I've seen this. He says the biggest challenge lately has been the availability of materials to complete large projects. Pre-purchasing materials early because that's the bigger issue than cost is how long it's taking to get materials to projects. So even if you can get the cost in line, if you don't get material and equipment ordered early, the project's going to get pushed out in the future where cost is even greater. He says inflation is changing the speed in which they lock in a build price. Subcontractors aren't willing to hold their prices very long at all. In some cases, a week to a month. He says that's because the cost of materials are changing almost daily. Shelly Armato of My Smart Plans has managed billions of dollars in construction. She says price fluctuation is why contractors need to be transparent for the customer. Making sure that you are you know, your purchase orders are complete, making sure that it is in a secured environment with complete transparency, accountability, and delivered with actionable, actionable items. Opening your book, showing them what the cost of all those subcontracts, materials that you're purchasing, what are optional materials. Yeah, everybody has to have that information in order to make a, a good decision. In Cincinnati, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.